Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and in today's tutorial we are going to talk about functions like uh, date time dot fixed now uh, and then we will talk about date time dot now so, and then we will talk about date time dot uh, you know getting date from the date time. So what I'm going to do is and uh, we are going to take you tell you the exact syntax how actually you can what you can write down. So I'm going to create a column out here let's say test. I'm going to write down some value test here and this is where we are also going to tell you you know how can you you know get the uh, you know your when you create your ETL and sometime you want that time which you want it to be you know static or something like that and you don't want uh, that to be uh, changing over that one so how can you do that so we create a test table out here and in this test table uh, what I'm going to do is let me load this and what I'm going to do is in this test table let me go ahead and go to you know delete or oh, sorry uh, let me go to uh, you know edit query okay in the edit query now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, go ahead and add one column so the first column which I'm going to add is you know fixed date time I wanted to know see the difference between the first date time and fixed now is the one assures you that it is going to give you the fixed one the second one doesn't assure but most of the time you end up getting the this one so fixed local now so local now is the one which I have not told you when I discussed the initially the local now and the fixed local now which which we are trying so local now is going to give the current system time and then I'm going to create it out here. So this is what I got it. Now I'm going to create one which is you know now only which is and they are going to give you most of the time the same result. The only thing is one is just guaranteeing you that is going to remain fixed and we are going to say local now. Okay and let me remove this one and please remember you put a function otherwise it's going to create a function not the uh, column okay. So now I got it. Now I'm also going to create local uh, today's date. So you wanted a date when the last refresh. So let's say date and this this is going to work till the time I'm not going to refresh these dates are not going to change. So I'm going to say date time. How to get a date time date from a date time date time dot date and then I'm going to write down again here uh, just for your reference in case you are trying to do it like directly date time dot fixed local now and this is some power query problem which you know if you press after drilling into something then it might not give you let's see this syntax is correct and now what we are going to say we are going to say okay so we got this date we got this date time and this same number same same we go ahead and say close and apply now we create a new page out here and in the new page we are going to drag these values so let me quickly add a page and on that three cards. I added a page and I added three cards out there. Let me drag the uh, things from here. Let me drag fixed out here. If required, we can make it a little bit longer. Then we let's add one more here. We will add now here. Not much of the difference as you can see. And let me drag the date out here. So we got the date, we got the uh, you know time and then uh, so this is not going to change. Let me uh, uh, put text out here and let me check it as a checkbox. Let me create a list box out here and we know we can you know if you click here or click here the things should change but now you can see you know things are not changing out here. They are remaining static. Now let's go ahead and right click on this table and let's say refresh data. Now look at the time right now here. Now the data is refreshing. Okay, so the things have changed now over a period of time when more things changes. So when you write down your ETL, you can use this date time dot uh, fixed local now. And if you want date, you can get date. You can date non date time. You can get date time. So use that. Uh, do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.